peace loving jelly beans people this is tex my wife Dawn. she's inside the rv there um and we are headed to threatford uh canada uh it's up in the quebec section um right up right up above the new hampshire and and main section of uh the states um we are uh headed up there however there's a lot of people that's bashed me here recently about doing this job. Okay, so let, let's touch base on a few things. No, this job is an easy job. Don't get me wrong, it's easy. If you can withstand driving. There's a lot of boring hours sitting behind a wheel. So listening to books um, and not losing track of where you're at or where you need to make a turn. <laughs> I do that quite often. Hey, we just missed turn. Okay, turn around. Simple as that. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing of it is, is that, um, so there's boring time. But at the same time, this job is a very good job. Um, is it lucrative? Yes. Driveway division is not. Uh, driveway division happens to be whereas what we're doing driving these units um, you can make a living but are you going to make a lucrative living no <clears throat> this is something you can get into and with very few dollars getting into it if you want to do tow away then you need to go out and buy you a three-quarter ton or one ton truck and do that if you're not CDL then therefore you are going to miss out anywhere between 15 and 30 cents a mile extra um, for doing tow away. So, um, like, we're not CDL, so we don't get paid the bigger bucks for you know, driving the big ones. We only drive up to you know, 32 feet, maybe 36 feet on a couple of them. But yeah, whether it be a Class A diesel pusher, gas pusher, whatever, whichever one it may be, or class C that you see me in right there or even the small class B's each one of them's got their pluses and minuses no matter which way you look at it um, yeah the car behind me as we call it Elusa Blue uh, Malibu it is a um, 2017 uh, you're looking at a 20 to $30,000 car we picked it up for 20 just that's why I say bottom lines around 20 um, we bought it at 40,000 miles. It's already at 120,000 miles, and it doesn't count the mileage while it's being towed. So there's there's the things. Now, here's the pluses to this. Pluses happen to be is that you get to go all these different places. Now, while you're driving the unit, you don't get to really do a lot of sightseeing. You can, um, but you got a certain percentage you got to stay within. Okay? So literally, going from point A to point B, and let's say they give you a a thousand miles well you got to stay within six six percent well that's going to be 60 miles and you can add up an extra 60 miles just getting off the road several different spots no getting off into this cracker barrel here was a two mile so that is going to go up to four miles rounded up to five miles no for just getting off here right there you just went from 60 to 55 okay for a thousand miles and we're not even going a thousand miles so that, that's how this actually becomes a little bit different. I'm going to switch fingers here. Um, see if I can do this. There you go. And so, yeah, um, it's got its pluses of sightseeing on the way back if you got a tow car. Okay, because you can go explore a little bit more, um, a lot more. It may take three days to go out to make this delivery. And then it may take six days for us to get back because we go and do some sightseeing. Um, so that's where the pluses are at. However, here, let me get to the cold hard truth behind some things that people don't realize. You want a job doing this? Any job you get that takes you and puts you into a driving situation. Uh, my former employer, Comcast Cable, I was a lineman. Um, so I was out doing utility work. Um, so I was driving all the time. You can do that. You can do uh, 
errands and become a delivery guy. Um, I mean, all those different things. Driving is going to be one of those little things that I'm going to tell you right now is the worst decision that anybody could ever make to do a job. Okay? It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're going. But if you pick a job that says you're driving, it is the most deadliest job out there. How many people die in car accidents a year? Wow, wait a second. Let's think about that. How many people die in car accidents or driving a year? Okay. It sits up there right below a disease such as cancer, COVID, all these different things. Now, let's really turn the tides. How many people die because somebody else's stupidity or ignorance? Okay. This job's got it. There's nobody else dies as many times as as many deaths on the on the human population. How I'm tr trying to figure out how to say this correctly. In the human population, there's not as many deaths in any other industry. Doesn't matter which industry you go to. But in driving, there are more deaths by driving by somebody else's stupidity or even their own. So let's be to the point. You're putting yourself at risk. Okay? People have made jokes and comments about me. No, because when me and Dawn get in the car, I'm always fastening her seat button, giving her a kiss and say, I love you. That's because I know we're about to get into a vehicle. I'm at the mercy of everybody else driving around me. Uh, go back to my video that says, you drive your way, I drive my way. It's only a minute and 48 eight seconds on that video. And for some reason they said copyright something because I got a feeling because the radio was playing in the background on one of them. But in either case, no, there's four incidents or five incidents where it shows you people do not care about other people. So you want this job? This job is not going to be an easy job. Well, this job is not going to be a safe job. This is not your, I'm going to go to work and be home this evening because I went to, to a school and sat behind a desk and taught kids. Your life ain't in danger compared to the people that gets out here on this road. Do you have a stressful job? Yes. Is this job stressful? Depends if you like driving. I don't have a problem with driving, so therefore it's not stressful to me. Some people it is. Some people can drive only two hours and they have to pull over because they're stressed. Okay? So, this is what I'm going to point out to you. This job's not for everybody. Everybody keeps on saying, man, you got the coolest job in the world. Yeah, we got a cool job. But as I tell people and people that know me, as I always try to tell them, every day's a paradise somewhere. Okay? And it's up to you to make your paradise. Paradise is only to the people that behold it. Therefore, no, you make your paradise. Now, Here's something I've learned from doing some reading and listening to some audio books. No, paradise lasts two weeks. If you didn't know, it takes 21 days to make a habit. Did you know that the human mind actually gets bored if seeing the same thing for 14 days? So paradise is no longer paradise after 14 days because you're bored of paradise. <laughs> However, can I still stay in Maldives at one of the huts on the water for an entire month or two months or three months? Yeah, I could probably do it and find something to do differently. But yeah, <laughs> in either case, back on track here. Doing this job, it's great. We get to go places. Let's, let's think about it. This year, we have been to the Everglades, uh, two feet from wild alligators that could literally get out of the water and bite you um so yeah been to uh moses lake washington and sightseeing and did some uh hiking and so forth up there um 
been to Monacon, Canada, which is 180 miles north of Maine, and uh, did not see any moose. That's the only thing that we haven't done yet, seen moose. Um, been to Calgary, north of Calgary, by two, two and a half hours to Morninville, um, Canada, and still haven't seen any moose yet. But we went to Florida like 19 times before seeing an alligator, so we'll just have to go to Canada at least nine of those times and might see a moose. Um, but we have seen other wild deer type, you know, whether it be deer or elk or whatever. Um, but yeah, we've seen those, seen them actually in, I would like to say herds, where there's like 10 to 20 of them, 30 of them, all in a pasture, just walking across the pasture in, in a herd form, um, or grazing across the pasture. Um, so there's a lot of things that we've seen. Uh, totem poles from the Indians back in time and so forth. Um, totem poles come from the Indians? I don't remember. In either case. Uh, but yeah, there's all kinds of different things we've seen. And we've done that this year. No, so, take consideration. Tucson, Arizona we've been to. We went on a cruise to Aruba, South America. No, the ones out here picking up pine cones, coming up with a different crafting tax. No. One thing I love about her, she always has her mind working on crafts. No, we come up with different things. But yeah, so there you go. Um, there's the hard truth of the job itself. If you want to do this job, I put all my information at the bottom in Horizon's uh, link. You can definitely go ahead and do this. Ah, let's let's do one more thing. We do drive away for Horizon and Horizon only. We could do drive away for Indiana Transport. We could do it for Synergy. We could do it for multiple companies. In drive away division, you can drive for multiple companies. If you decide to do tow away, you can only do tow away for one company because your vehicle is leased to that company or contracted to that company. I, won't, I don't know if it's leased or contracted. One of the two. But yet, it's one of those, diff one of those things. So therefore you can only drive drive away for multiple companies and you can do tow away for single company. Um, can you de-lease and, and lease for another company and then go back to you know, the other company? Most people have done that and can do that. It all comes down to you know, what their rules are. So I know some companies have rules that you can't, once you de-lease you can't come back for six months or once you de-lease you can't come back for a year things like that so and there might be certain restrictions no if you de-leased and you had under a thousand uh safety miles or something like that then yeah you might not be able to come back for two years i don't know but those are all some stipulations that you'll have to read about if you plan on doing towing um but as far as driveway like we do completely different so there's your the ins outs pluses minuses drive away driving and all that good stuff now requirements to get into this job right off the bat i'm going to tell you your first thing is you got to have 20,000 miles driving some large vehicle a delivery truck um driving a your own personal camper um driving for errands deli delivering furniture uh yeah i pick on errands but yet it's only people i can think of Renaissance center so forth um driving for all these for any company um like i did utility company and drove bucket trucks large bucket trucks um so yeah when you get into this job you've got to go into it knowing that you've already driven over twenty thousand miles if you take that and figure it out, if you drove 400 miles in a day, 20,000 miles, what's that? Um, 50 days? So a year you make 20,000 miles easily. Now, if you work for any of these companies and drove every day for them. So there you go. That's your basic thing to have for getting into this work. Um, and then understanding that no, you're getting out there and you're putting yourself at risk. So if you got kids at home, 
got a loved one at home, you know, your spouse, your significant other, your partner, whichever way you want to call that other person. Bottom line is, you may kiss them in the morning and never see them again. No, this job is not for everybody. My biggest point. You gotta take this serious. You don't get out there and just think that I'm gonna go and have fun. It's not that way. You do have fun. But not every day is gonna be rainbows and sunshine. No, um, we are not in a I'm trying to think of the little cartoon that comes to my mind with the rainbows on it. Um, I can't think of it. Anyway, it's been so long since my kids have been little. Darn, cartoons have even changed since then. Anyway, all right, there you go. I've made this video long enough. You guys got the point. You no, know, really think about it. Do you want this job? Do you like the, do you like to drive? Can you withstand driving? If you already did 20,000 20, miles in something, you may, know what you what you're getting into a little bit better but there you go that's what it takes to do this job how much money can you make i'm not going to tell you you'll figure that out whenever you start looking at the board and so forth and we'll get into com and you'll get into conversations with a lot more people about that at that at those points okay all right peace love and jelly beans people i'm tex my wife doing y'all have fun